Excellence can be pursued, it can never be achieved. Now when it came down to Hiram Mandi, it is for the last 18 years I have been living with this idea of making a film on the Brussels in Lahore when India was one and India was not divided and if I had to make a set for Malika Jan or if I had to make an actual kotha for Malika Jan uh, without the, the trappings or the, or, the, or the pressure of a narrative then it would be something completely different. But when it comes to linked with a film and when the characters I love a lot, I sit, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Where is she going to be seen? What will the color of the pillar be? What will the architecture be? What will the, what will the carving on the pillar be? Architecture played a very important part. There were very few filmmakers who really actually weave architecture and value it so much. Except Banadia was Pekhadekardini. It means a piece of your, it's from your, from the deep down those pillars and walls and how you paint them and how you carve them. And, uh, it's very fascinating. All our life you went and saw art, you saw great furniture being made, you saw great textures. So all over the years that you've seen and you've researched and things which have made a deep impression on you. I'm a very observant person. I feel it's very important to observe. So all this is research. Research comes from life. You observe so much. And I feel I want to take you into that world. So will that one color take you into that world? Will it make you feel of the dialogue that she is speaking or not speaking and yet you feel a, a connection to that color and her face and what she's saying? So I feel that it, are these big sets um, telling me what Hiramandi was? For me, Hiramandi is a very big idea. I enjoy doing big sets. I like being lost in this big space because I've always wanted to be lost. This is the biggest set I've made in my life because it's really that walls have been pushed way beyond what I thought um, I would ever be able to push uh, as a child, which I thought it was. So I feel I have started enjoying and understanding more and more as my filmmaking has progressed. In I've started enjoying creating walls at a distance and further and further and further away. But I never want to dictate. I feel I've set it. The audience will find what they want to see. A lot of time people have criticized that we have so much to see that the first time we miss the essence of the scene. So I feel that I have started hoping that uh, one day I'll make images that will be worthy of being called paintings. It's a long way to go. The day you understand that artist and his art for you will disappear, will evaporate. But life, uh, everything is a painting and life offers you in Visuals every second, every every microsecond, millisecond of our life. Are you being able to see it? I have started seeing it now. Excellence can be pursued, it can never be achieved. So all these great painters who have left great work could have maybe, if they'd lived on, made money even better and even more and even more. There is so much more that you have to yet achieve uh, because there is somebody always five steps ahead of you. Everything in life is beautiful. How do you define it? It's too vast a word to say. I will define it maybe on the last day of my life, but I don't think three, four births, five births down the line, you can't define art. Too much of a student to right now say art means to me this and uh, beauty means this to me. Still finding.